Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Lone War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough. Time to go for Operation Diamond Hawk, which is a interception of Advent reinforcements, uh, which means no more reinforcements uh, for a short period of time will come to uh, this area. Therefore, the force rating, or uh, sorry, the strength rating uh, won't increase as much. So you're going to see that uh, this is actually a relatively important mission. Uh, we got uh, Zirkim, Dinger, Baldilocks and a Taxia here. Uh, that's uh, the Iron Fists. Uh, they are uh, still on a training mission. 13 to 15. Evac with Flare, make size, raid the train, intercept the reinforcements. I think we're good uh, with uh, out boosting this. So let's try to launch it. Four against 15. A little bit on the harder side, but I want to preserve some intel. Okay, so it's a non timed mission for once. That's affirmative. Which means we should be fine. What? Pack size 6? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Just wow. Not even Got sure it. what to say. Pack size 6 is massive. We could engage them with a nice little flamethrower uh, somehow. Ooh. That would be such a treat. There now. Rolling. Yep. I just need to start moving into our direction and not away from us. Of course, they're doing the exact opposite. I'll follow this pack because I have a suspicion that that might be the most difficult pack on the map fighting against 15 enemies moving to designated position wow another turret okay get it done moves up okay body locks moves up and we're just gonna go. On Eyes on the prize. It. They are unfortunately not moving into our direction. Two, four. Yeah, that's a smaller pack. Of course, we don't want to trigger two packs at the same time. That would be completely stupid. Reckless is the right word. No. Um, looking for a good place to hide. This here could be it. Just a little bit of a switcher redo. Let them come a bit closer again. Wanted to get away from the right hand side where all of the enemies are located. Uh, 
Look, I mean, this could also be a fantastic rocket launcher opening, but um, I would much rather like to flamethrower them. If possible. Heading to that location. Okay, if you come at just a tiny bit closer to where we are, that would be awesome. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering the eyes on the prize. The age old dance with the first engagement. Tell you what, this is a better position. Moving out. I'm all over it. Why are they moving away? This is frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Okay. Wow. More enemies. Yeah, we can't take them all at the same time. I'll tell you what, we will wait until the time that that patrol just comes back. If we hit, w would be hitting these guys and they fall down, that would be a rough first opening. Look, maybe we're taking them on head first. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. If they continue to just stay here. Oh, the moment that I'm ready to launch a rocket, you feel like moving away is the right choice, yeah? I find it hilarious how the enemy always seems to know what we're doing. Okay, need to shortly take care of something. All right, back. I think as fun as a big fat rocket would be, let's just move back and wait for them to patrol their usual path back. It seems to me that they are now coming all the way back. And the logic is if I can hit four with a flamethrower, that would be way more valuable than the rocket because I can always use the rocket a little bit later if push comes to shove, but a four man flamethrower unlikely to happen. Oh, 
one to three. One to three, um, Spectre is immune to flamethrower. So, Scanning. Scanning. let's wait. <clears throat> Not really, right? You must be kidding me. We were so close. And all we needed was them to move a bit closer. I almost was ready to pull the trigger. strange okay finally these guys are coming back hopefully in an attempt to retrace their former steps and go to here <coughs> guys are kidding, right? Okay, I'll fast forward that. This is becoming ridiculous. Okay, it took a while <coughs> to isolate them. Finally, we got a halfway decent um, flamethrower. Can't take all six, I think, but we can take most of them. No, I can actually take all six. Nice. Fortifying. This might burn a little. And let's break concealment. One burning. Hmm. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Okay, three more after they finally <clears throat> moved in. You're burning. Burning, that sector is not burning yet. And I don't know if I want to move in. Spectre and Trooper. I think we're starting with the Spectre. Raising shot, unfortunately, but we're now locked on. That's a miss. Let's try that again. He has a really good chance of hurting it. the turret flanking us. Is the turret flanking us? No, it's not. All right. I've got something. Big deal. That sector can still act.
Sananza isn't doing that well. That all you got? Okay, we need to deal with the uh, with the turrets as well. Okay, well, we got to deal with the turrets and with a few of uh, the other enemies here. So how about we're starting to take down one of these turrets. Well, that's unfortunately not enough. Okay, we'll come to that in a second. The Stun Lancer definitely needs to go. Taking this guy out, that will also kill the zombie. Yep. We don't need to get some now. I think I just needs to get down the turret and we should be fine. The sector might not die. That's a bit of a stretch, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we can deal with the sector next turn. advanced laser side very nice let's kill the other turret and let's kill that sector Good. Taking the loot. And we kept concealment through all of this. Nice double layer and core. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, we know of at least two more packs, so we gotta be a bit careful here. Now is a good time to just group up. Reload, get the cooldowns uh, going, although they are already back, so... Got a high ground over here, which is kind of inviting. So let's take the high ground. Understood. Moving out. And we're going to use Ataxia as the scout. Look at you. First enemy groups already coming towards our position. This will give us overwatch. Moving to designated position. And Baldi locks. Now we can't move too close. I'm all over it. 
tries to not be seen. Okay, cool. I think next turn is a big fat go. Maybe even this turn. Good hit onto that Advent officer. <laughs> Blade storm. The admin officer is a bit of a problem here. Trigger Overwatch together with Fortify, very difficult to hit Zirkim. And let's burn these guys. One is taken out um, and one is just basically ignoring that. Turn fire. Ah, oh, forgot about that. a hair trigger that is some of the worst loot for such a high level enemy that I have seen in a while Reaper continues to go This guy is already taken out, but there is nothing saying thank you, like a shotgun to the face. Okay, so I got one. Ugh, I'm going. Back into cover. Okay, there was still a mech a pack. One that I would not want to fight immediately, so again what we're doing is... Reloading, getting our cooldowns uh, back up. Specifically, Reaper is a nice one. Good. Unfortunately, we won't have Reaper right away because we are already triggering. Let's use our rocket. We had it for a while, might as well use it.
running and gunning. That heavy mech is a heavy problem. Very low chance to crit as well. Can kill the grenadier unlikely to get rid of the mech uh, not in one go everybody is in good cover Unfortunately, we couldn't get uh, all of them down. Should have used the shotgun onto the Naja. Which, luckily for us, decides to double move. This will hurt. Come on, miss. Well, that's not bad. I'm pretty happy, yeah. I've got the loot. That armor's tough. Got no On my way. Moving to high ground so that we have the best chance to hit. And that should be it, right? Yeah, for the uh, for the training wheel team, just going in with four and fighting seventeen was hard as expected. But I think we got all of the corpses out as well. Heavy mechs in particular, are interesting. Cool, so Zirkem. Very nice. Could now take Burnout, which I start to value quite a bit. The Concussion Rocket isn't bad either. I've seen it in action and it is really not bad. He was exposed, so this here could help him. But he also has Fortify, which already helps him, so maybe that's a bit of a duplication. Concussion Rocket gives a bit more long range um, abilities. It's not too bad. I mean, he has low profile, right? And uh, Trench Warfare, which automatically lets him hunker down. And then also dodge within four tiles, so... Maybe for him particularly, the rocket is better instead of uh, going for it, for this. Dinger, uh, ever vigilant is cool. I like it. Locked on definitely is good. Center mass, not a question. And I think we're going for coup de gras. Head of bullets isn't bad either. Just a hundred percent chance to hit. Very very good. So both of them are fantastic. And Baldi Locks got his promotion. Electroshock is great, close and personal for some more damage. That isn't bad. Return fire is good, but I think we wanted to go for unlimited power and 
No, that was not him. Now, grazing attacks. That might be good for ranged shotgun. And it only costs 10 points, so I don't see the problem with it. Nice PCS speed. That's a good one. And look at that. It's really, really good loot. Wow. What a boss mission that was. What an absolute monster of a mission. I like it. We're better on the supply side. We're a little bit worse on the permanent income side. Not sure why that is. We wanted to upgrade the laboratory. We needed supplies and we wanted to further expand. Where that, that will require additional supplies. So either way is fine. Let's continue making contact. Let's see, network tower still needs infiltration. Yeah, that will take some time hacking there. We're doing well. Uh, this whole thing here currently is still at strength one, albeit uh, vigilance seven. So advent is definitely in the knowing that something is up. Good. We got a training <coughs> and we can continue upgrading bonds, which is great. Let's see who is currently on bond training then. That's not too bad. The space wolves are focusing on covert action and on bond training. It's a bit of a shame because they are not seeing action at the moment, but you need to do that training nonetheless. Ataxia could continue. I think we're going for the defense here. All right, laboratory will skyrocket our scientist count a bit more. So that is great. In the meantime, let's continue making contact here. And we got another Shinobi, one that uh, immediately will get training um, and also will become a officer themselves. Uh, Uncle Uber is being dra uh, drafted twice. I can't let that. Uh, mm, I can't let that go, or happen. We need to give him a different name. Uncle Uber is already in the Grey Wolves, so this character here will now be called Shadow Walker. Yeah. Hmm. Just Shadow. John Shadow. I think a little bit of speed would be helpful for you. That's good. And we got another Shinobi. Fantastic. Then Yang was uh, the recruit that we wanted to put into Ranger training. And we got one a last recruit for, I think, a PsyOps because he had 29. Yeah, so Taurus Baldilock will become a Psy operative, just like his friends have been before him. That's good. Speaking about which... Um, Let's make Sydney quickly a Psy operative and then continue the Psy training with the others. Another 
important step forward in our research. Fabulous. That's really good. Seven days that would uh, give us two extra days. That would save us two extra days. Um, Coil guns require a lot of a lot of focus. Twenty one days. Yeah, we're going all the way to guns now. Okay, fantastic. Laboratory is soon done. Yeah, look at that. We, we are starting with 22 to 24 enemies for a, a smash and grab mission. But six days is plenty for us to infiltrate. So we might be doing that nonetheless. Could put the prime team in and get it down to six days. And that'll be a lot of kills. But I think the Grey Knights can take it. So well, that's a difficult mission. Let me set up the team and then we're going to give it a go. Good, we're ready. 107 uh, percent. That should be that should be good to go. Spend some of our ability points to get to the prime team even further equipped. That's not going to happen. Three days for 25 enemies is just way off. It, it's just not happening. It seems that uh, the vigilance and the strengths here might be completely out of control. So we're looking at strengths 11, vigilance 17. Uh, I am quite happy that we're getting uh, the network tower going and liberating this area. Cool. That, on the other hand, is a mission where we can easily get more supplies, as you can appreciate. Good, and since it's an easy mission, I can also take a team that is not as well equipped and as well versed yet. So the Salamanders generally should be fine. Bondmate John um, Karchin. Is that someone that we could take here? No. So Zirkim is sergeant now, so he can be assigned to this SWAT. Very good. The salamanders are, I think, complete. Don't need two tech, uh, technicals, though. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, Azizal der Krai. Where would we put him? Where would we put him? I mean, we could put him to the Ultramarines, who are, by the way, still infiltrating and soon done with it because Mad Shooter would come off of it. But there is unfortunately no other room. And I want uh, the Bond mates to of course work together. So for now he's off, he can be on this mission, but I would want to have someone else in the squad overall. So what's missing currently, we got uh, frontline, damage dealer, cover removal, and not, nothing is really missing. So we could uh, pick whoever we want. 
Tarik, for instance. Uh, Tarik is, I think, up here, right? No. Wrong. There you go. Up there. Okay, so... Let's try this again. So Tarek could work with these guys and find a solution uh, to get out uh, the enemy material. I think five people are more than uh, more than enough. That's okay. So sure, why not? Let me um, let me set up uh, this squad. All right, we should be good to go. So the moment that that is 100%, we can um, go into the actual mission. Staric, yes, waiting for... Staric fast? I'm just wondering. No, he's not. Okay, never mind then. So let's start the infiltration. A little bit of an easier mission for the uh, for the beginner teams, or rather beginner chapters. Need to give them time to build up. Setting course for sector four, Chile. And that is six days, but quite heavy. Ah, but we need to counter a dark event. All right, that that'll be a tough mission. India. All right, whom could we field? We could field the space wolves, but they are on bond training. Could all with the Imperial Fists. Infiltrating, infiltrating. Could go with the Blood Angels. Uh, they could do their current mission. And Implacable is almost, almost ready. Let's see. Some of them might be tired afterwards. Yeah, very likely that Hunk is tired. Very likely that uh, Renvin is going to be tired, so Blood Angels might not be the best choice here. We could start uh, with the Space Wolves and then add to that. How many people could we actually take on the mission? I think uh, five to six might be might be good. Don't need another technical. One Psy operative. Not sure if we should go with all of uh, the All of the rather uh, inexperienced troops. We're looking at quite an opposition. Recover an item from a vehicle. We can do that with uh, Dreadnought. Let me find something out that works for us. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure everybody is deployed. Interesting that this region here is so heavily, heavily fought over. And mwah, we got a Reaper. Reduce Avatar Project. Uh, Igor is doing that again with um, Euler. And he's this, uh, this time uh, joined by Aziz Darkrai. 
Mainly because Sazi is as good as Attack Sergeant, really, really uh, high level, but I can't uh, find a great squad for him at the moment. Doesn't mean he is bad or anything. Uh, he's just helping to run these missions. So a pretty solid ambush chance, so that's fine. We're going to go with the program. And we got another sergeant, Raven. Let's promote uh, Raven. Ever vigilant. That's interesting. Remote start. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, now we're talking. That is good. I would argue that is potentially the best ability for, of every ability that I'm seeing in this tree. So, remote start. Great. Let's start, let's start with that. It's worth the 20 points that we have spent for it. Silent Killer. Second most important one. And I think we're uh, going to go with Blood Trail. Okay, seems like a good idea to me. Emergency life support might be just what you need because uh, they are sometimes being uh, just uh, completely kept out of cover. Good, cool, got another Reaper. Which might be the right class. Let's just double check our squad management, shall we? So we got uh, two hero classes for the Grey Knights. Um, the Blood Angels do not have a hero class yet. The Space Wolves do not have a hero class. The Ultramarines have the Skirmisher, which is fine. So I'm just thinking, uh, maybe, maybe, we're just putting the hero class, uh, a hero class with the Blood Angels. That would uh, push them to seven instead of six. And they are a really well-functioning, well-oiled machine at the moment, so... Potentially not necessary. The other option is to simply put them in here, mind you. Uh, the rookies are being gobbled up anyways. Good, where do we put them? Or, or, they start their own little chapter, the Iron Hands. Didn't want to go f much higher than six. So maybe for now, we do have Astrid, we do have Azizel, that's already two. Space Wolves are a little bit uh, a little bit taken back because uh, who was, uh, who was uh, the team that always had someone on covert actions? I think it was the Space Wolves. Yeah. Okay, so Space Wolves have essentially at this point um, handed over Igor and um, Euler to the covert actions because they are very efficient with it, which means we're assigning maybe the Reaper uh, there and maybe Astrid so that Igor and... Um, Eager and Euler actually become kind of independent. Just out of interest, Venom was in which squad? Um, because Venom also ran a couple of um, missions. Ultramarines, yeah, that makes sense. 
Okay, uh, she should stay there. And we're just going to use Igor and uh, Euler. So Paladin and uh, Euler is the main guys that are running all of uh, the covert ops jobs. And I would instead fill it up um, potentially with another sniper that's a good idea and instead of an assault we're going to use the hero class that means we have a hero class with the space wolves we have one with the ultramarines uh, we do have two with the gray knights uh, there's one missing with the blood angels but that's fine not everybody needs a hero class but having kind of a chapter leader so to speak a primark is not wrong it's good What do we take next? I think that is quite clear. Stasis is too good to not take. Got another Psy operative down here. Taurus, welcome to the team. Great to have you and great to see that we have more Psykers. And they are much needed. Very good. Good. We need another trainings and recruitment mission once Ataxia is is coming back from his wounds. Just double checking something real quick. Jim West, I think, was implacable. Okay, it's ready and available, which means we can do the Blood Angels now. Imperial Fists. Uh, oh. Ataxia does another training. Well, I could interrupt the training if I wanted to. It's not the end of the world. He could um, he could do one and then have five people with him. So yeah, we just I'm just waiting for the right training mission. Blood angels could do their mission as well. If a new one pops up and for chile uh, intel is nice but we really do want the recruitment to continue so for now just recruit and we're good Uh, they can uh, are we going to let them go to 25 uh, to, to 150 just to reduce uh, the enemy activity a little bit more uh, nah I think we're good we're launching this now and that could be in the next mission let's just just launch the mission that will then bring us to the HQ and the HQ anyways needs to be infiltrated properly so we're good we're gucci uh that's the end of today's episode thanks for watching guys if you appreciate long war of the chosen leave a comment and a like down below and let me know what you think take care bye bye